Greetings, greetings, travelers, and welcome to Geronimo Draws Sketch Cards. Oh, I just realized this is upside down. Let's fix that. Okay. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. Good to see you all. Am I coming in nice and clear? Let me know. I see Buddha Bear says first. Good to see you, Buddha Bear. Hope you're doing well, my friend. All right, all right. Let's get rocking and let's get rolling. We got a sketch card to draw, folks. Okay, let's see who else we got here. Uh, he says, hail all. Again, of course. Hello, Buddha Bear. We got GJ, my man GJ. Good to see you, my man. Good to see you. I am happy to be drawing a sketch card today. Um, uh, where did my comment go? He says, I don't... Oh, oh no, did something happen? Uh, strange. Let me know. Let me know. I see your comment. Um, not quite sure. Not quite sure. I must say my computer at the at the moment is acting pretty weird right now. I don't know if it's the... Hmm, strange. Okay. Okay. Let me know if you guys could hear me, though. That's the most important thing. He said, where did my comment go? I don't know. I don't know, GJ. Strange. Hmm. Again, can you guys hear me all right? Am I coming in clear? Please let me know, guys. Please let me know. All right. Okay. Well, folks, I'm really excited to be drawing this character. This character is so much fun to draw. So much fun to draw. And uh, uh, let's see. Uh, did you see my Twitter post, Rob? Wait, what's going on here? What? <laughs> what's happening here? Uh, let's see. Uh Valgus devoured it. Yeah, hello, TJ Rex. Good to see you. Wait, but can you guys hear me? Please confirm that you can hear me. <laughs> it was a comment to Rex. I don't see Rex. I got kicked from the chat, and then I reappeared in chat. Bit my comment, but my comment went away. I do not see anything. I don't even see Rex here, uh, GJ. I don't see Rex. Ah, oh, strange. I don't know. I don't know. Very odd. Not sure if he is here. I don't see him. Uh, Seer goes, what? Okay, maybe replying to GJ. Good to see you all. All right. Today, as I said, we're going to be drawing Valgus the Devourer. But more importantly, more importantly, sounds good, Buddha Bear. Okay, thank you. Oh, man, we just had two backers before we went live. Holy smokes. 8,563. So close. Ten days left, travelers. Ten days left to back the Blood Realm Dawn of the Wolf uh, Indiegogo campaign. Tremendous thanks to everyone who have, who's been sharing the campaign and, and um, oh man, who's backed the campaign. I appreciate you so, so much. So recently a, a record went, two records went on the, one as an add-on and one as a uh, the Warrior of Light bundle. Only 11 Warrior of Light bundles remain. And we are so close. We are almost there to that finish line. Oh, man, that's... Can't wait. Can't wait. Ten days left. Ten days left. Oh, now I hear the music in my ears. Good, 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 good. Okay. So if you have not checked out the campaign, folks, uh, see the link in the description. Also, don't forget, if you want to hear about the making of the Blood Realm vinyl record, I just did a, an interview with my with my close friend Steven, and he he's the one who composed the album. So uh, it was a fun little making of experience, you know, talking about his inspiration, what he thought of or imagined as he was as he was creating and composing the music. Um, great stuff, just tremendously wonderful stuff. So uh, more to come. Uh, if this goes well with this vinyl, there'll be more stuff to come in regards to, to Blood Realm-inspired music. So good stuff here. All right. Let's let's get to it. So, also link to this card is available by clicking the the link pinned to the chat. All right. So we have here Valgus the Devourer. Now he is on the cover of the Blood Realm vinyl. He is one of the old beasts that Captain Lycurgus slays. And I really love the theme that Steve made for this particular old beast. It's very eerie something about it i don't know it just feels like it's it's haunting very haunting uh totally different from the other two maybe we'll play it too as we're drawing so i'm going to start this right now uh valgus lives within the region very close to the it's eyeless canyons and forbidden desert he's kind of like right 
at the, the, the middle part right there. He lives in a very large, huge, massive cave in this region. And he is the centipede type of creature with this humanoid body up top and something that reminds us a little bit of Leviathan uh, with the tentacles and this, this almost like hive mouth here at the top. So here I wanted to kind of do a side view a little bit to have this arch so we could see how we have the, the, the body of, of Valgus with the centipede legs. Uh, man, wouldn't it be tremendous, right, if it was a game where you play as Lycurgus and you just, you just fight all of these epic creatures? That would be so, so, so cool. I would love that. Okay, here we go. So let's get right into it. Actually, you know what? What we should do, actually, if we're going to do this right, which of course we will, um, we should probably let's think about the white. Yeah, let, let let's get let's get some of that paint going here. I had a really fun discussion with Peter uh, last night about materials. I'm gonna be on Metal Movies and Brewski's channel tomorrow at 9:30 p.m. Eastern. So, uh, still getting out there trying to promote the campaign as much as I can. All right. A little finger painting going on here. We have to make it feel authentic. All right, let's get that in there now. Perfect. Okay, good. Oh, shadows, Shadow of the Colossus, but Blood Realm? Yeah, Paul. It's like, you know, it's like I would say a marriaging between that and make Dark Souls, you know? Because as much as I love Shadows of the Colossus, I don't want to feel bad for the creatures. And although you do a little bit in this, um, when you learn about the old beasts and when we visit that story, the, 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 the time period that I had mentioned that's going to appear in this upcoming volume, you're going to get a, a, a greater sense of what these creatures are, who they are, and also how their numbers dwindle. I mean, yes, we know that they had uh, that war with the, the dragons, but... We're going to see something else that really took place, um, how their lives change and almost like their, their mental state had changed completely after trying to kill their offspring, which was the dragons. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this here. I'm just trying to get some more paint. I think that might be enough, though, looking at this. Um, all right. Okay. Can you guys hear the music, too, in the background? It's pretty low. I think I hear it. Could just be my head. I'm just mentally thinking I'm hearing music. Hey, Alakazam, good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. All right, let's get right to this. I'm really excited to draw. Um, maybe we should do control myself. Let's get. Oh, there's the music. Ooh. <laughs> Rob's hearing things already. And <laughs> we just started, White Alakazam. Oh, my goodness. Oh, how could I forget Hugh Salogia, travelers? Hugh Salogia. That's right. Greetings. That is greetings in Voragafian, folks. I'll type it out so we could all get used to it. Hugh Salogia. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Hugh Salogia, travelers. All right. There we go. Okay. I'm going to do a little whitewash first on this one. Okay. You know, as much as, you know, it's, it's exciting running campaigns, man, they they really just consume you. It's that uh, something I, I've been saying for many years after I did my first Kickstarter way back. Uh, you don't run a campaign. A campaign runs you. <laughs> so I would say that's, Still very much applicable, um, without a doubt. So I just want to do a little light wash, nothing too heavy on Valgus here. There we go. Again, he's not like, um, so Vgorgum the spider is more of like an albino spider. That's how I imagined him. 
But him, I just imagine, imagine a little tint of red. So I don't want to dilute it too much. Okay. So I hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a pretty good day today. Busy day, crazy world. Another day in this crazy world, right? Let's make some art and try to make some sense of it all. <laughs> Let's make some sense of it all here. Okay. So let's get those creepy elongated arms. Here we go. And again, let me know if everything's okay, the sound is clear, the video is clear. I'm using a hotspot at the moment from a cell phone. Still waiting for the internet to come back to my, my home here. But again, once again, I do apologize. Sometimes this stuff is completely out of my control and I think that also infuriates me. <laughs> That's when it's, there's nothing I can do, you know, there's nothing I can do. Here we go. Those big long fingers. I have to get a little red in there. I'm saving that part for last with the tentacles there. That part's going to be a lot of fun. The centipede legs, they are eerie things. I was saying on X that I bought Blood Realm, the meaning of life, the universe, and everything. Oh, nice. <laughs> I missed that, Buddha Bear. Oh, thank you. With how skinny Valgus is, he looks like he needs to do some devouring. <laughs> I agree. I agree with you. Oh, thank you so much, Buddha. I didn't know what you meant. Uh, now I know. When you said I bought... <laughs> the universe and everything numbered 42 on hollow frame wow that's amazing buddha thank you so much oh that's tremendous yeah i i gotta tell you i just Love the idea of those hollow things. The hollow frame, whatever it's called, right? The, the hollow fame. So, excuse me, hollow fame. <laughs> hollow frame. Absolutely love the idea of them. Too cool. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. Love horror centipedes. He goes, mine is the one centipede horror movie. Oh, yeah, that one with humans and that German doctor. That one is only good to show new people for reactions. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you did. What, Alexander? He goes, I bought the card that killed Rob's internet. I certainly did. I am so paranoid. You got to see, I'm looking up and 
StreamYard keeps reminding me this connection is not stable. I'm like, okay, all right. I, I don't know what to tell you. Thank you for those of you who were patient. I was gone quite a bit. <laughs> Rush into the router. Oh my goodness. Oh, this stuff is fun. Let's get some of this going now. There we go. Hall of Frames is basically the same thing. I know, I do like that, Hall of Frames. But what about the two sequels? Oh, goodness. That's right, I forgot there's sequels to those movies, Eliza Boy. Not my cup of tea. I saw parts of the first one, and it was one of those, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Don't think I really need this in my life. Thank you very much for sharing. But hey, you know, everybody's different. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. You're missing out. The third one is actually almost watchable. Wow. Hey, World of War Comics, Geronimo. Good to see you. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you so much for stopping by, my man. Oh, man. Oh, and thanks again for having me on your show. I had a great discussion with Tommy. It was so great. Always a pleasure chatting with him, seriously. Always a pleasure. Hey, Dr. Mass, good to see you. We had uh, some technical difficulties at the beginning of the stream. Um, the internet just decided to go completely out in my house. Just completely. Zap. It's always fun when you're doing a stream, right? Right in the middle of it. Uh, you know what? It's got to keep you on your toes. He goes, loved it, always fun. Oh, great. Me too, man. This is even more terrifying after hearing that soundtrack. <laughs> yeah. Oh, geez, the doors are slamming upstairs. My goodness. What is going on up there? That's New York. Yeah, I know. You're telling me. You're telling me, my friend. Telling me. All right. Get some tone there. Okay. Looks good to me. That's one crazy looking centipede, man. <laughs> yeah, yep. This is one of the old beasts. Just a little domestic five five sprung cube says. Oh my goodness gracious. God forbid, hope not. Jeez. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, let's do some highlight now. Come on, baby. Let's get it right here. 
We'll make the light come from that side there. How much do you com how much of a commute do you have, Rob? Oh, commute to work? Uh, let's see. You, when you say how much, you mean how much time? Well, it depends on the time. If I have a class in the middle of the day as opposed to the morning, believe it or not, like in the afternoon, I hit way less traffic on the Guanas. But usually that means I get out at rush hour and it can be a pain coming home. The worst time to, to, to commute home is when, when the schools get let out, believe it or not. That's actually the worst. When the schools get let out, oh man. That's when the traffic is really bad, mixed with the little rush hour there. You, you either want to leave just when school, just when that time is over. Um... Like at four, three thirty, you want to because three o'clock, forget it, it's a madhouse. But if you wait any longer than that, whoo -hoo. no one rides the bus anymore. I used to live near, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I missed a couple of comments. Yeah, I saw uh, that they're looking at the website for a day. Hope it will go to eight left, not realizing number 42 would mean. A nine left. Luckily, I still got it. How oh, awesome. <laughs> uh, let's see. Good point. Traffic, uh, always an issue. Yep. Uh, Metatron's Cube says 100%. I guess that's in regards to when schools get let out, right? That's always the worst time. Holy mackerel. Always the worst. I mean, love that kids are in school, but whew. you get caught in that with the buses. Oh, man. That's a nightmare. Uh, let's see. Uh, I used to work near L.A., but we always were going the opposite of the traffic, so it wasn't too bad. Oh, nice. Oh, that's good. Oh man, this is giving him a really nice tint. I wanted one of them to have a little bit. Actually, when you look at all of them, you kind of see a little bit of um, an amalgam of, Val of, of Leviathan. You know, we get that bumpy pustules that we see on Gorgum. We see the tentacles here that we we see here on Valgus. And there's something about um, well, there's not no centaur or anything like that. There is like that this remarkable strength that that um, what's his name demonstrates uh, Argus, which is the, the centaur one. And he has those antlers, but if you look at Leviathan's hands, they kind of break open almost like, not quite an antler, but there's like something there, like the shape. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now it's time to do a little splatter effect. All right. And folks, um, thank you so much for watching, of course. And again, for those of you who were patient when I had that little, uh, I don't know what happened um, with the internet. I saw GJ was contacting me on Twitter as well. He was letting me know. Oh man, I was like, I, I can't do anything. <laughs> 
I appreciate you all being patient. Okay, where is my oh here it is. My other toothbrush. Let's do a toothbrush. A toothbrush. It's very similar to a brush. Okay, let's get some of that splatter here. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Mask. He goes, stop, splatter time. It's the best time. It's what you're all here for. Let's get a little bit more texture on the bottom. Like he's emerging here. Eerie. That's why I love the soundtrack that Steve did. It feels like boss music. <laughs> oh, in fact, you know what? Let's put that on. I'll come right back to this end again. Here we go. This is Valgus the Devourer that will be on the record. So this is Valgus's theme. this angle of him. <laughs> you just got drafted to do something here at home. Enjoy your night, everyone. <laughs> All right. You enjoy whatever you got to do, Dr. Mask. Thank you so much for watching, my friend. Again, you can listen to how Steve designed and created or composed, rather, this soundtrack. In a recent uh, interview I did with him. such a good job. Okay, here we go. All right, now I want to do a little background. Nothing too crazy because I don't want to take away from, from him, you know, the figure himself. Uh, so let's see. Looks like he got, uh, he'd be good with lemon and a barbecue. Oh man, you would eat that, wouldn't you? 
Well, if it makes you feel better, I mean, uh, uh, octopus is one of my absolute favorite on the grill. Do you eat that, White Alakazam? If you do, you may have some, uh, I don't know, you may be a paisan. I love a little pulled bowl on the grill. This is delicious stuff. Aha, uh -huh. feeler hairs, hair rising. There you go. Speaking of feely hairs, feely, let's get some of them hairs in there. Get a little red paint. I want to get rid of that black mark because since we reduced a little bit, just a touch. Let's see if I could do it with my finger. Ah, look at that. Come to master the finger painting. Okay, so now I like to do red clouds. I really like how this turned out. Maybe I should do one for each of the old beasts since I've been drawing them so much. We could do this guy. He looks great. Yeah, we should do it. Totally. I really can't wait for you guys to see Kier's story and his art. Well, the, the art he drew for my story with um, the old beasts. It's going to be pretty surreal seeing them, you know, in, in their habitat. I think you guys are going to really like it. I like the red clouds there. There we go. All right, let's do some white splatter now. Okay. And folks, once again, we are so close to hitting that funding goal. Holy mackerel. Almost there. The sound of centip centipede feet would be weird. Oh, yeah. All at the same time <laughs> certainly would but imagine them big though you know it's eerie stuff Gotta make the sound effects, otherwise, why are we here? 
sound like a herd of bison. Yeah. Oh, man. I agree. I agree. All right, let's wait for that to dry. I don't know. I'm a legs guy. <laughs> Crab legs, chicken legs. Oh, good for you, Alakazam. The man knows what he likes. Mm, I do love crab legs myself. Good taste, my friend. Good taste. Punch some of these blacks a little bit. This dude has got some unfinished business with Old Bay. <laughs> Yum, crab legs, GJ says. Yeah. I never had Dungeness crab. Is that too much work? Is there actually a lot of meat on Dungeness crab? Uh, I know king crab legs, that's the best. Those are like the most expensive at the supermarket. Or at the fish market, rather. Wherever you get your produce. Old beast versus old bay. Oh, man. To punch some of this just a little harsher, a little bit heavier on some of the outlines, just so we can make it pop. Uh, blue crab is what I can get dirt cheap here, but it's so much work for so little. Oh, yeah, I love soft shell crab. Oh, that's so good. Crab is great. I have crab ravioli sitting in my fridge, I gotta do something with those. I'm getting hungry. The stream, we always get hungry. 85% of the goal with 10 days to go. So close. I know. I know, Tommy. We're so close. It's crazy. It's killing me. When you're this close, you're like, come on. <laughs> Let's go already. <laughs> oh, you can't help it. You can't help it. Like, come on, we're right there. I could taste it. I made lasagna, lasagna today, Rob. Am I Italian yet? Oh, va bene, va bene. I approve, my friend. So stressful, I know. <laughs> you stream doing during food hours. That is true. That is true. I have no choice. Oh, that's a good point. I do stream during food hours. Uh, I don't usually stream this late, though. I have a lot of people watching. Thank you so much in advance for all of you who are watching. For those of you who were patient when I had my little internet blackout. Ugh. You know, it's funny. After this, I'm going to go watch a, a show about food. I don't watch a lot of TV shows, I told you guys, but uh, <laughs> I'm a sucker for those spring baking championship stuff. Can't help it. And then I always end up wanting a treat. All right. Okay, so let me show the campaign one more time before we go, folks. Okay, there it is. Valgus the Devourer. And once again, White Alakazam, thank you so, so much for picking up this card, brother. I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. It really does. Uh, so honored that these cards go to your collection. That is 
the ultimate honor. It really is. Uh, let's see. Uh, you almost did an AI finger goof, Rob. <laughs> I know. Oh, well, because Sam says, wait. Oh, what do you mean, wait? Why? I kind of want the forearm gorilla, but may decide on Chiron's horse. Oh, cool. Oh, my goodness. White Alakazam, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I can get super chats. <laughs> oh, White Alakazam, are you kidding? My goodness. Thank you so much for the $5 super chat. I can't believe I can say that now. <laughs> Super chats. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's enabled. Yes. I just found out yesterday um, That I can now receive super chats. Yes <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, why do because that is my first uh, Super chat. What, what an evening. What an evening. This has been a crazy crazy day uh, Internet going out and all that Oh my goodness. He goes, I was playing Battlefield, so I wasn't looking at chat that much, so I just noticed it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, nice, man. Thank you. Paul says, you're going to make tens of dollars. <laughs> oh, wow, this is so neat. That is really neat. Look at that. Look at that. Amazing. Oh, wow. Honored, White Alakazam. Thank you, everybody, for being so patient. Again, once again, I, even though I, I know you're going to say it's not my fault, I'm going to apologize anyway. I apologize for the interruptions with the internet. You know, I, I don't want you guys to have that kind of experience with my streams, but I know some things are out of my power, but I do apologize anyway. Um, so... I will edit the video to make sure we get all that nonsense out. So if anyone wants to sit back and watch the replay and think, where did he go? <laughs> hey, thank you, Pete. Congrats on monetization. Thank you so much. <laughs> Man. Oh, you macro. We understand you're not perfect, Rob. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, I'm going to set those up too. He says, next stop, channel memberships and emojis. Yeah, I'll come up with some ideas of what we can do with that, you know, for um, channel memberships. Uh, who knows? Maybe we can work something out with sketch cards. I don't know. I don't want to get too crazy. Uh, I got a baby steps, baby steps with all of this. But uh, thank you for all of you who've been helping me uh, get to that point. I mean, my goodness, guys. Also, what's so ironic, too, I got a notification that today is my channel's birthday. I got that also today. So I got my first super chat today. Uh, it's my channel's birthday. Apparently, I started this channel on April 10th. <laughs> I did not know that. I did not know that. So look at that. Look at that. Thank you so much again. Of course, all of you. And uh, just so you could see Valgus here in all his glory. <sighs> On the record. Really love that image of him. Really do. Uh, wild Kazam says, wild, yeah. Thank you so much for this super chat and for the card, my friend. This was a lot of fun. A lot of fun drawing him. Have a blast drawing the old beasts. So... Gonna be really cool. I saw that. What was that again? Buddha Berry says, "I kind of want the forearm gorilla." I know, right? Forearm gorilla is so cool. He's gonna have an epic fight. Oh man, is it gonna be epic? Just, I wanted it to be really, you know, I wanted to say almost uh, visceral, a real visceral, fierce fight with the other old beast. Um, they're really tearing into each other. So, I know. Um, uh, Paul said, Paul, actually, before I, before I go, um, uh, the, uh, who has that one? Oh, which one? He's pointing to that. You mean the, the record? <laughs> um, uh, I recently found out that there was a Primal Rage novel that was released. Do you guys remember that video game way back, Primal Rage? With all, with all those big monsters, it was like a monkey and 
Oh, the, not what was it a monkey? It was like a, a a baboon, right? A baboon, a big lizard, and what was what's the other creature? It was like a T Rex. Oh no, the monkey card. You have the monkey card too, White Alakazam. Holy mackerel! Oh wow, that's great. Um, yeah, there was a novel, and I've been trying to find it. It's completely out of print. And uh, I was able to find a copy of it online, so I can't wait to read it. <laughs> uh, who wrote it? Um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to look for the name now. See if I could share the cover. I have it here. It was called Primal Rage. Look at the cover. It looks awesome. Uh, here you go. Look at this. It goes for cut for a do a review. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that would be fun. Look at this. Tell me you I have to read this. Everything needs to go on hold because I have got to read this. Look at this. Based on the number one video game. I love that. Based on the number one video game. I don't even did this sell that well. I don't even think it did. The all new Earth shaking volume. Oh, novel volume. Primal Rage, The Avatars. First time in print. I was When I saw that, I said, oh my goodness, I need to get a physical copy. But it was like well over $200. <laughs> Just for like a... Uh, it was huge. Yeah, there were figures. There were action figures. But I was like, my goodness. Okay, I thought I knew what you were talking about. Uh, but never mind. Yeah. So cool, right? First time in print, never printed before. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, exactly. First time in print, but it was never printed in anything else. <laughs> Let's take a look. Yeah, Boulevard? Yeah, novel by John Vornholt. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> John Vornholt. Uh, Sega Genesis and 32X era. Yeah. This was also an arcade, arcade game. Um, and look at this art. This is hand painted. I wonder who has that right now. Someone owns this somewhere. I want it. <laughs> so cool. So cool. So yeah. Had to share that. Had to share that. Um. I know you said seeing the old beast fighting like that kind of remind you of that stuff. Oh, in fact, wait, before I go, I'll show you guys the, the synopsis on the back, just in case. There was a movie? No, there wasn't a movie. That would have been great. I remember this game. Yeah, I know. How cool is that there were there was, there was a novel? All new earth-shaking novel based on the number one video game. Sometimes I'm like number one. It's not number one best selling. It's just number one, because it was the first and only one. It was a sequel that never came out. For a thousand years, they waged bloody battles to conquer Earth. Now a common enemy has conquered them, and the bloodiest battle of all awaits. So I was like, wait a minute. Does this mean all of these creatures are going to unite and fight something new? And then I was reading it. I was like, yes, there is. These have They have to team up. So it's like an Avengers team of <laughs> prehistoric beasts. The wars known as the Primal Rage have ended. The great dino gods have been magically imprisoned. And Necrosan, an evil creature of fearsome power, lays waste to Earth with his undead armies. In his way stand the Avatars, eight supreme fighters who can free their dino god masters from the spell that binds them. Shaman of Blizzard and Sorceress of Vertigo, Minion of Diablo and Paladin of Armadon, they must put aside their differences to defeat the menace that threaten, threatens them all, or watch as vile Necrosan conquers Earth. <laughs> sounds so pulpy. I love it. It sounds so pulpy. They're going to punch and kick that meteor before it crashes into Mexico. Oh, yeah. What? Primal Rage? Oh, no, no. It's not that movie. Not that movie, White Alkazam. Five out of ten IMDb. No. I think that 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 was a uh, that was based on something else. Yeah, it's not the same thing. I just saw that. Oh, it has angry monkey things. Interesting. 
Uh, they had this game arcade version at the laundromat I would go with my mommy back in the day. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, they're going to. Oh, yeah. OK. All right. So I had to share that. I, sh I just found that. And I was like, man, I'm going to have to <laughs> read that. It's it sounds like a nice pulpy. I don't know. Good pulpy adventure. Looks, it sounds fun and, and ridiculous. So, OK. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you again for being patient. Thank you for backing the campaign. And thank you, White Alakazam, for the first super chat. And, of course, the first... Uh, oh, no, for the first for, first super chat and for getting the sketch card. So here we go. I just want to share the campaign one more time, folks. So if you have not backed the campaign, we are so close to the funding goal, as you can see. Uh, 136 backers 10 days left uh, we are so close we have 11 perks remaining of the warrior of light bundle this gets you the whole thing the vinyl the collector box sketch card commissioned by me and the entire signed uh set of dawn of the wolf so cannot wait folks really excited to to get the story out to you we are so close to that funding goal so thank you so much in advance i really appreciate you all right, everybody. Uh, why not? You read all about Rome and Venice. You can read about dinosaur monkey fistfights. <laughs> I agree. I agree, Paul. Uh, Dino MMA must have been exciting. Oh, I could only imagine. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great, great night. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on Metal and Brewski's channel to talk about the campaign at 930 uh, p.m. Eastern. I'll try see if I could go live before then. We'll see. I'll be coming back from Brooklyn then. So take care, everybody. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.